Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about room modes, but we're going to focus specifically on one mode so you can kind of get an idea. I'm a big fan of using the RTA, you know, real-time analyzer, while you're listening to music, because that's how you learn. You have a visual picture of the energy in the room and how it moves. And then you can see issues. You can actually view distortions. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. So, so always have it running. If you really want to learn about this acoustical stuff, have it running all the time. Because even if you're not studying it, you'll glance at it. You'll hear something on the screen. You'll glance at it. And pretty soon, especially in low frequencies, you'll be able to go, that's 40 hertz. That's 50 that's 60. You'll be able to hear and see at the same time. And those two processes will help with learning. And that's what you need to have. You need to have more understanding about how everything below 100 is pressure, how everything above 100 is reflections. And you can see that. So we get a picture of the sound energy along with the music. That goes a long way for learning and understanding. So we want to focus on energies below 100. Play your favorite source and watch the movement below 100. Okay, and then you want to pick out an octave band, maybe two, that doesn't really fit the rest of them. It's not behaving like the rest of them are. Okay, now what is the difference? Well, we want to look for an octave band that kind of hangs around too long in the time domain. So it's up here and everything else has gone down. The harmonics have come into play, but it's still doing this up here in the time domain. So it's not in sync with everything, right? So watch this clip here. I'm going to talk over it, but you can see at 80 hertz, that's in our studio. I've been fighting this for years. I'll get it, but it's floor to ceiling. So I got to put more stuff, more square footage, but... You can see where this 80 hertz octave band is not behaving like the others. It's hanging around, has a longer hang time. So that's a mode. That's unwanted pressure. That's distortion. We talk about room modes. That's what they look like. There's the visual representation of an 80 hertz room mode. So notice the time signature. It hangs out too long, right? Our goal is to have the octave bands move separately, independently but all stay, you know, in the relative same amplitude. We don't want one way up here. So we want to keep that balance. If it's hanging around a little too long, it's a mode. And that's what we want to look for. So we must move into the same time domain with everything. You know, get all the amplitudes the same. And you do that through treatment. This is pressure, too much pressure. So we need more absorption at 80 cycles in, in my studio. I've known that, you know. Now, just like all of you, finding the time and the energy to add more units, it's it's not that easy. I get it. But I'll fix it. I got more units coming. I'll get it. It ain't going to run from me. It can hide if it wants to. I'll find it. So it's no problem. I'll figure it out. But So here's the thing. You can learn sound frequency... And then you can hear the distortion because you can see the 80 hertz hovering and you can hear what that sounds like in any mix, in any of your favorite songs. So use that RTA. It's a great visual tool. It's a great tool for understanding and learning. That's how I learned. It's painstakingly slow, but it's an education that you won't forget. So a good example, an 80 hertz mode here of what you can do with an RTA to identify and at the same time, hear the room distortions. 80 hertz mode. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions. And I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.